Good morning, good morning. How are you this morning? Good morning, good morning to you. Today is Wednesday, May 12th, okay? Um, today's schedule, let me go through it real quick. Today is the letter V for ABC Countdown. I'm wearing my violet, okay? One of my only things I had purple. Um, your Flipgrid video today, I'm gonna try to do it after this video. Um, you're gonna share your favorite thing about kindergarten, okay? So think back on our whole year. What was your favorite thing we did, okay? So be thinking about that and then you can do your Flipgrid video. Your writing today is gonna go along with that. We're gonna write in kindergarten, I, or we, and then something about what we did in kindergarten, okay? Um, your activity today is a fa family challenge. I got this idea from Discovery Depot again, and each person in your family gets one piece of paper and scissors, and then you can use either tape, glue, stapler, or whatever, and you're making a paper chain. And you wanna see who can make the longest paper chain, and you can measure to see who wins. So I thought that was just kind of a little fun activity. Um, and then your subtraction today, it's exercise by subtraction, and this was fun, we did this with Blaine. So I have given you subtraction problems in your mom and dad's email, and you have to solve them and then do that many exercises. So for example, if I have five minus one push-ups, okay, so I have five, take away one, four, I have to do four push-ups, okay? So solve the problem first and then do that many of that exercise. If you need to use small items to help you solve it, or your fingers to help you solve it, you can do that, okay? So that's our schedule today. We're gonna get right into it. We're gonna go over our 3D shapes. We haven't done this for a while, so we're gonna kind of review our 3D shapes. This one is called a cone, right? It has a point at the top and a flat side cone. This one is a sphere. Remember, this is the only one that you can really roll in your hands like this. A cylinder does roll, but and a cone does roll, but it just kind of goes in a circle, right? Okay, so that's our sphere. We have a cylinder. So flat here, flat here, and it rolls in the middle. Okay, like a soup can or a pop can, right? Cylinder. And then we have a cube. This is like the dice that we roll and play with, dice. So cube, we have six sides. If you think about a dice, it has six numbers that you can roll, right? And then it has all these points called vertices, and it has eight vertices. So we have cube, sphere, cylinder, cone, okay? Remember our song? Here are the 3D shapes that I know. A sphere, a cylinder, a cube, and a cone. Okay, so those are our 3D shapes. All right. We're gonna go over our student names. If you guys remember a few weeks ago, um, I made a big poster of everybody's names. And then, actually we did it at school. And then I laminated it and I brought it home and we kind of went over it. Well now look what I did. I cut them apart so we can practice each friend's names and talk about what um, patterns they have in their name. So my first friend is Kylie. Okay, and remember all of our names start with a capital letter. She has a Y in her name, K-I, that says I, and she has a double E, right? I have Aiden. A and I are a vowel pair that work together. Aiden, okay, his short E. I have Levi. He has two vowels, L, E, V, I, and they both say their long name. I have Landon, okay? He's got a vowel. He has also a Y at the end, and I. I, that says I, kind of like Kylie. Ben, Ben is one that we chop out, we hear every sound, B, E, N, Ben. We have Kaysen, he has a long vowel, K, A, S, E, N, okay? We have Charlie, remember Charlie, she's got all kinds, she has C, H, she has A, R, and she has E, E, Charlie. We have Ellis, she has a double L, L is. She also has a slight word in her name. Is. Ellis. We have Gavin. G -a -v -in. He's got two vowels. We have Max. Just like Ben, we can chop it out. M -x. Max. We hear every sound. We have Gage. Another one with two vowels. 
Okay, g age. We have bossy E on the end that makes A say its name. We have race. We don't hear the Y, and the C makes the S sound. Race. Okay, we have Sadie. Three vowels. Look at that. A, long A, and I and E are a vowel team. Riley, very similar to Kylie, right? We have the Y and the double E. Chloe, another vowel team. O and E work together. Chloe. A raven. Look at her long name. She has a U and an A and a Y. A raven. We don't really hear the Y sound. Emerson. She has E-R in her name. Emerson. A Y that we don't hear. Dominic. Look at all his vowels. He's got an O and two I's. His is also one that we can sound out. D, A, M, I, N, I, K. We hear all the sounds. Scarlet. We have another A, R. We have a T, T at the end. Scarlet. Double letters at the end. And then we have Miss Richmond. She has C, H. You can't find it right here. Ch, Ch, Richmond. And then we have Mrs. Tucker, right? I have a C and K that works together. And I have an E, R, R. Okay? So there's our friends' names that we can practice going over. Um, we have a brand new thing I want to show you. I'm so excited about this. We're going to do our sight words. Remember when I used to hide something behind our sight words? We had the Easter Bunny. We had the Leprechaun. Today, you know what I'm going to hide? I hope he's watching. Mr. Hart. Look at that, Mr. Hart. I'm going the wrong way. Okay. I have a little picture of Mr. Hart. I always hide behind our sight words in the month of May because we're getting ready for first grade. So, Mr. Hart. So our poem goes like this. Mr. Hart, Mr. Hart, how do you do? Mr. Hart, Mr. Hart, where are you? So I'm gonna hide Mr. Hart. I'm putting him behind some of our new sight words. Okay, so we're gonna guess. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go over some of our words. Okay, let me get situated here, here we go. So our new words we have first, went, there, saw, into, were, next, love, here, they. So these are all new ones. So it's okay. That's why we're going to review them. Okay? This time we're going to read them going down, this way going down, and then we'll try to figure out where Mr. Hart is. Okay? Here we go. First, there, into, next, here. Then we have went, saw, were, love, and they. Okay, so let's say our poem. Mr. Hart, Mr. Hart, how do you do? Mr. Hart, Mr. Hart, where are you? Hmm. I'm gonna do the one most of you guys probably know. What's this word? Love, is he behind love? No. Oh, there's a word behind it. <laughs> Bryce was writing words on these. This is the word best. <laughs> um, let's try first. First for first grade. Nope. Word best on that one again. How about went? Went. We write this one a lot in kindergarten. When we do this weekend, I went. Oh, best on that one too. <laughs> How about next? So we have first and next. Nope. How about were? This is a hard one. Woofer. Oh, there he is, Mr. Hart. Hiding behind were. All right, we'll flip those over. We'll play that again tomorrow to review our words. Okay? All right. We're going to go into our patterns and our mystery number. I'm going to make a pattern. If you want to make a pattern on your own at home, you can do that. Okay? I'm going to do the flower. We haven't done the flower yet. Flower. Flower. Sailboat, fish, flower, flower, sailboat, fish. Okay, so here we go. I had a pointer out. Oh, my children, I tell you what. I'm going to have to choose a new one. And get the glitter one out. Here we go. Get our glitter going this morning. There we go. All right. We have flower, flower, sailboat, fish. Flower, flower, sailboat, fish. We can keep it going. So if I put a um, letter to this, it would say A, A, B, C. 
A, A, B, C. Okay? All right, mystery number. Close those eyes. I don't want any peeking. I'll kind of turn it towards that way. You can look at our poem. Gilly Ghosty is our poem today. All right? Pick some good ones here that we haven't done yet. I should be writing down the ones that we've done, right? All right. Let me get my tub here. So you guys can see my numbers better. Sorry, taking you for a little ride here. All right. So here's our mystery numbers. We have... One in the first row, right here, right here, right here, right here, right here. Okay, looks like I did six today. So first one, let's do our easy one. One, two, three. Can't trick you guys, right? Um, let's do the next row. 21, 22, 23, 24. How about one of these? Ooh, this is a tens number, right? Because it's going down here. So 10, 20, 30, 40. Good job. Um, how about this one in the four row, 40s? 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47. Okay, we have 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76. 77, ooh, one of our double numbers, right? Our double numbers, look at this, you guys, this is so cool. Our double numbers are the diagonal. So 11, 22, 33, 44, 55, 66, 77, 88, and 99. So cool, remember when we talked about all the patterns that we see in our hundreds chart? All right, today we're gonna count by ones, and we're gonna count to 50. Okay, are you ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, ooh, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60. Sorry, I said we're going to 50. I kept on going. All right, so there's our counting and our mystery number. We're gonna do our Gilly Ghosty song, okay? So, <clears throat> I have our sight word poem called Gilly Ghosty. This one's so silly, look at that little ghost. He's like a baby ghost, right? So, it goes like this. <clears throat> Gilly Ghosty is a baby, that is true. Gilly Ghosty is a baby, that is true. And when he gets a little hungry, when he gets a little hungry, then he begins to holler boo hoo hoo. Gilly Ghosty is a baby, that is true. Gilly Ghosty is a baby, that is true. And when he gets a little bottle, when he gets a little bottle, then he begins to babble boo goo goo. <laughs> so a silly little song. We're gonna circle our sight words. I see you right up here, two. I see the, I see is, is a, is, is a, is, um, and, a, he, is he a sight word? Yes, a, he, two, is a is is a is and he a kind of the same ones over and over isn't it he two all right i think that's all of them are you ready to count with me one two three four five six seven eight nine ten 
11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27. Holy cow, yesterday was 22, today's 27. Which number is more? 27, right? Good job. All right, I got my list here. I gotta keep track of what I'm supposed to go over so I don't forget anything. Um, oh, we gotta do our um, song for our Can You Guess My Letters. I like this one. So we did, we're gonna pick some new two letter sounds to do today. Can you guess my letters, my letters, my letters? Can you guess my letters? Just listen for the sound. E and E, E and E. Can you guess my letters? Just listen for the sound. It kind of says it, right? Oh, did I pause it? No, okay. Um, so two E's together, right? Like this one, E, E. Can you guess my letters, my letters, my letters? Can you guess my letters? Just listen for the sound. Ow and ow. Ow and ow. Can you guess my letters? Just listen for the sound. What is it? O-W. One more. Can you guess my letters? My letters, my letters. Can you guess my letters? Just listen for the sound. Oi and oi. Oi and oi. Can you guess my letters? Just listen for the sound. What is oi? Oi. Good job. All right, now we're gonna practice sounding out some words. I brought some word families home. Here's my envelope. This word family is og, O-G, og, okay? So we're gonna practice sounding out all my words in the og family. I have s og, sog. I have o og, log. Let's chin tap them. Og, fog. Do you need something, bud? I would need to get an extra dress on. Okay, I'll get it. Hey, don't use this bathroom down here, okay? What bathroom? Downstairs. Why? Because Allie had an accident in there. Hmm. Just don't go in there. Tell Blaine not to go in there until I clean it up. Hmm, good times. All right. Hog. Og, hog. D, og. Dog. J og jog. Well, upside down. K og cog. Ooh, F R together. Blend. F og frog. Good job. So keep on practicing those words, right? All right. We're gonna sound out a couple more words. I found these in my stash of stuff. And they are little unicorns. Look how cute they are, okay? And these all have either SH, TH, CH, or WH, okay? So we're gonna just practice reading a couple of them, and then we'll get to our writing. Here we go. This is shock, shock. Can you show me a shocked face? Shock, yeah. This is a fun one. This is a long one. Whistle, whistle. Can you guys whistle? Yeah. Let's try this one. Chat. Ch at. Chat. What does chat mean? Talk, 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 right? All right. How about this one? Th -ick. Thick. Ooh, if something is thick, it's really wide. Like a thick piece of log is a big thick. Like a thick sandwich, okay? Last one. Here we go. Sh a p shop. Ooh, shop. All right, good job. All right, we're gonna get into our sentence. I need to check on my kids because they are crazy. Who knows what they're doing up there, right? All right, here we go. In kindergarten, ooh, this is a big word. Who thinks they can write kindergarten? We're gonna start with in first, so capital I. And we always start our sentence with a capital letter. We do finger space. Kindergarten, we capitalize because it's the name of a grade. Okay, so grade, kindergarten. So capital K, K, I, N, 
D, D. Kind, er. Ooh, it has E-R. Kind, er. G, G, G. R. Look at that, A-R. Kindergarten. It kind of sounds like a D, but it's a T. Kindergarten. Kindergarten. T. Kind. I don't know. In kindergarten, I... Hmm, and then you can write whatever you want. In kindergarten, I went to art. In kindergarten, I had fun in PE. In kindergarten, I loved doing math. In kindergarten, I loved to write sentences. In kindergarten, I liked to play at dramatic play. Remember we had our ice cream shop, our grocery store. No, we didn't get to our ice cream shop. We had a grocery store, a farm, um, the pizza place, the movie theater, all those fun things, okay? So you are writing something we did in kindergarten. So think really hard. You can write a whole bunch of stuff if you want. You can list stuff. Like in kindergarten, I went to art, PE, STEM, music, okay? You can list them, play it on the playground. Pick something from our kindergarten year, okay? And write it into a sentence. Thumbs up, thumbs up, all right. Remember your schedule, you're writing your sentence. Also draw a picture of something. So if you draw, if you write PE, draw a picture of PE. If you do um, playing on the playground, draw me a picture of the playground, okay? So sentence, picture. You're doing your family challenge. You're wearing your violet today. Um, and then you're exercising by doing your subtraction problems, okay? All right, kiddos, thanks for watching today. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye.